Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I will explain how to draw parabola by rectangle method. So let us take a problem. So problem statement is like this. Consider a ball thrown in air which attains 100 meter height and covers horizontal distance of 150 meter on ground. Draw path of the ball that is projectile. So let us understand the given problem. So ball is thrown in air which attains 100 meter height and covers distance of 150 meter on ground. So if ball is suppose thrown like this, then that ball will follow path like this. The shape of this projectile curve is parabolic in nature. So basically we have to draw a parabola. Now here this height is given 100 meter and horizontal distance covered it is 150 meter. So we have to draw parabola like this. So if height and width is given, then by using rectangle method, we can draw the parabola. So let us draw a parabola by rectangle method step by step. So as I explained, curve traced by projectile is parabola. Maximum height and horizontal distance covered is given. Therefore, we can draw this parabola by rectangle method. So, in rectangle method, we have to draw a rectangle of given dimension. So, construct a rectangle ABCD of base 150 meter and height 100 meter. So, here to draw on a sheet, we need to use scale. So, here to draw on a sheet, we will take scale 1 mm as to 1 meter, that is 1 as to 1000. So, here we will draw rectangle ABCD. So, base is equal to 150 mm which is AB and from mid of this line AB we have to draw an axis of the parabola. So we will look at midpoint of this line AB at 75 mm. Then height of this rectangle is 100 mm. So we will draw vertical line 100 mm and we will complete the rectangle like this and give the name ABCD. So we have drawn a rectangle of width 150 and height is equal to 100 mm. Now we will draw an axis from midpoint of this AB by center line like this and we can give the name EF. Now we have to divide this AE and AD into equal number of parts say 5. So this AD is equal to 100 so we can divide into 5 parts at 20 mm each like this. And this AE is equal to 75. So we can divide into 5 parts at 15 mm each. So we can divide 15 mm each like this. Now we can give the number starting from A like this 1, 2, 3, 4 towards D. Similarly, on this AE, we can write 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, and 4 dash. Now Draw lines joining 1, 2, 3, 4 with F like this. Then through this 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash and 4 dash, draw vertical line perpendicular to AB. And these lines will be intersecting F1, F2, F3 and F4 like this. So intersection points will be P1, P2, P3, P4. So these are the points on the parabola. So parabola will start from point A. It will pass through these points P1, P2, P3, P4, F. And parabolic curve on right side of this EF axis will be symmetric to left hand side. So we can join these points by smooth curve like this. Now parabolic curve on right side of this EF axis will be symmetric to left hand side of this axis. So we can draw horizontal lines from each points like this. Then by using compass we can measure distance of each point on left side of axis and we can mark the point on right side of EF axis like this. So this point is P5 then measure distance of P3 on left side and mark on right side. So we will get P6. Then measure distance of point P2 on left side of this axis 
and mark the point on right side of this axis P7. Similarly, measure distance of this point on left side of the axis and mark the point on right side of the axis like this. Now we can connect these points by smooth curve to complete the parabolic curve. So in this way we can complete parabola by rectangle method. Thank you.